Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see different range functions in click. So what are those range functions? Range functions take an array of values and returns a single value. They can be used both in click view and click sense. And we can also use a range function in backend as well as frontend. There are various range functions but the most commonly used are range sum, range max, range mean, range count, range average. I have given link in the description section if you want to read more about range functions from the click help file. We will not go through all the range function but we'll see one or two of the range function and you can try on your own various range function. So we will see today a range sum. The syntax of range sum is this where we have two parameters. The first one is the expression or field and the second one is expression. It will return the sum of range of values and all non-numerical values will be treated as zero. The first one is the expression or field and the second one is optional. This one will be used as range of data. This function may contains inter record functions such as above, below, which are also returning a list of values. So let's see how range functions are working in click. This is the data I'm going to use. We have product manufacturing cost involved to that product, freight cost and tax. You can see that for product D, we don't have tax and product F, we don't have freight cost. Our objective is to find out total cost for each product. So I will load this data in click application. So I have loaded this data as inline load in click application. And at the front end, we will see how this range function works. So first of all, I will show you range sum, how range sum is working. So if I will say in a KPI, if I will write a simple expression and I will say 100 plus 200 plus 300. So this will give me result as 600. The same way, if I will write the same expression using range sum, then I have to mention something like this. Range sum and now I don't have to mention plus symbol here because range sum will do sum of all this parameter we have passed here. So it will give you the same result. But say we have null instead of 300. Then we will not get any result because mathematically you, you cannot add null or you cannot subtract or divide or add null with any numerical value. But if you mention the same null here then range sum function will treat null as 0 and we will get result as 300. The same way if I will write something like a name I say Manish then we will get null here because mathematically you cannot add string inside a number but here in this case, if I will mention here Manish, then it will give me result as 300 because third value Manish is now considered as 0. So any non-numerical field value is considered as 0. So this is how range sum function is working. And if you want to do subtraction, you can use like this. So 100 minus 200 and 400, the result will be 300. So let's work on our sample data. So here we have product, here we have manufacturing cost, freight cost and tax. So if I will do something like this, 
मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कॉस्ट प्लस फ्रीट कॉस्ट प्लस टैक्स देन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू गेट रिजल्ट फॉर ऑल द रोज बिकॉज देर आर टू प्रोडक्ट वेर वी डोंट हैव आई टैक्स और फ्रीट कॉस्ट so i will say we don't have freight cost for this product d but we have tax d we have freight cost missing and product f we have tax missing so now you can see this is how it will work but to get the result i can do something like this i can say range sum manufacturing cost Freight cost and tax. It will give you the answer. The same you can use at the back end as well. And I can say something like this. I can say this as total cost. And then I will get the result. Same as front end. So means range functions you can use both at front end and at back end. the same way range mean function will work so if i will do something like this i will say duplicate of this and if i will say range mean it will give you mean of these three and if i will say range max then it will give me max of all three column values so hope you have clear idea now how range functions work in click so these are all range function we have basic range functions like range max max range max string range mean range min string range mode range only range sum counter functions we have range count range missing count range null count range numeric count range tax count and so on so we have statistical functions financial functions as well you can go through with this the link which i have provided in the description section to get this page and then and you can read description of that function with example till then thanks and have a great day